In resource-poor Japan, COVID-19 has not stopped the country's push to improve its energy mix. The first carbon dioxide recycling unit of industrial conglomerate Toshiba will be operational this summer as planned. Micho Ishida took a tour of the plant to find out why CO2 recycling is gaining traction in the global fight against climate change. For the most part of its history, this 37-year-old power plant in Japan's Fukuoka prefecture generated power using coal. In 2017, it was converted into a biomass power plant. Now Toshiba, the industrial conglomerate which owns the power plant, decided to start a pilot project here to capture and store CO2. Neighboring Saga City's mayor, Shigenori Hideshima, runs an incineration facility which emits about 10 tons of CO2 a year. Toshiba's technology caught his eye and they forged a collaboration. This is the facility where waste is incinerated. And from here, the gas which is created from the incineration goes through the pipeline here and into this facility made by Toshiba where the CO2 is captured and stored. The pipeline will carry the gas to businesses nearby, including a company that grows algae. Alvita uses algae to produce supplements and cosmetics. CO2 from the incineration plant has been injected into this greenhouse too, which began to grow cucumbers from December. オランダではこういったパイプラインがあのハウスに行き渡ってまして、えっと、Saga City says at this point, 10% of the 10 tons of CO2 from the incineration plant is utilized. The rest is released into the air. It hopes to attract more businesses as it sets aside a 21-hectare space near its facility. It wants to serve as an example that carbon gas can be put into good use. Michio Ishida, CNA, Kyushu.